this is the energy vibration reading for the Taurus and moon and rising sign I want to say thank you for returning and welcome all newcomers um, this is going to be the week and the third week of um, um, November 2017 and the week begins with water energy and the water energies that we have in this week is going to help you with your emotional situations okay the energies of the lovers is here on Thursday which is wonderful and good and um, in this week we have the zodiac energy of water and the energy of water and we have the eye princess so it's going to be a very psychic week for the psychic people your psychic is going to be a very strong listen to your intuition and whatever that is happening around you okay there is um, a situation where you have the energies of also the unknown coming up so let's see what is happening we have fire and the ten of swords in reverse this is good we have the lovers we have the knight of pentacles the three of cups and the five of pentacles so let's see what is happening and um um the sun the sun is going to come out for you guys and this is going to be good the angman is in the reverse form so this is good for all the young people and we have the page of six which we're finally ending a journey the energy of the tower and you have the wheel of fortune with the eye princess so this is going to be a very very good week and justice so let's look at your week and see the sun is uh, the crowning of your week with the page of pentacles so this is wonderful the ten of swords is here twice on tuesday it's in the reverse form on um uh, on Thursday it's in the ruin form which I'm going to ask a question about and the other question that I should ask about is the energy of the unknown the two of Pentacles coming um, up but um, there is a situation so let's see um, what is the message for the unknown I'm getting that you should the ace of pentacles the moon and judgment okay so let's see what is going on on Monday um, you is the energy of uh, the ones the seven of ones and Monday so what's happening on Monday is that you're trying to protect yourself um, from situation people and situation you're not seeing a situation clearly so give it time call upon the agents and guide um, to show you whatever is happening because obviously um, something is happening what you're not seeing clearly so um, ask the angels and guides and I am going to ask to see what is happening here um, I'm asking the angels and guides what is happening the king of pentacles which is yourself the six of one so it's not bad it's going to be good okay so whatever that was happening for you you have your own energy vibration which is coming up which is um, the king of pentacles on Monday so whatever you weren't seeing clearly um, you were protecting yourself from something and you had the eight of swords and you weren't seeing something clearly and it's yourself especially it's gonna affect you men but the good news is on its way and you are um, protected so whatever the situation is on Monday you have no um, reason um, to be worried because this situation is going to good news is going to come and you are definitely being protected as we look at Tuesday it's an air energy but this is good because it's in the reverse form and what is happening is that you have the ten of swords in the reverse form which is good and you have whatever the situation is um, that was taking place with your work 
um, or uh, with your father is there a situation that you had with your father and that sort of a situation because this energy is set is an energy of bringing stability into your life whatever um, um, you had in the past you're going to be able to bring a stability some people are going to have achievement and as some people are going to be dealing with a situation with their father whatever that was it is now in reverse and things are going to be better as we move on we have the page of pentacles and this is good because it comes out with the Sun so whatever the situation was with the energy of the page of pentacles and the Sun this is going to be good expect um, extra financial help coming in your life and message about your financial situation is going to be good on Thursday there is going to be a situation with the lovers some people are going to be breaking up on Thursday whatever that situation is of was some people are going to be moving away from each other so let's see what is happening on Thursday um, let's see um, what is happening with the lovers on Thursday there is a rune so that mean there is going to be a hand yeah um, that person will be moving on or you will be moving on let's see that person will be moving on to the princess of cups uh, and uh, this is really something so on Thursday a situation is going to happen that um, um, someone um, who um, if you're in a relationship there is going to be an ending or you're going to find out about someone else and the person will be moving on to someone the princess of cups someone who's younger and you are going to feel as if this is cruelty happening to you but obviously whatever is taking place for the energy of the lover that means that whatever that karmatic situation was it is over it has ended and that is moving out of the sphere of your circumstances on Friday um, this is the energy for the people between the ages of 18 and 40 so 18 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 35 to 40 these are for you guys the last time you're going to be finding your true inner light of who you are the energy of the hangman is in reverse and this is a very very good as the hangman is in reverse it's a very very positive energy because the energy of this week is also the energy of the hangman so whatever your emotional situation was for you men it's going to be that you're finding your true in a light coming back and this is going to be positive in the weekend we have a celebration on Saturday this is good um, a whole lot of people will be connecting with other people you'll be celebrating and this is good you'll be celebrating the end of a situation and this is a positive energy whatever the situation was whatever the situation that was affecting you you are going to celebrate the end of it and you are going to be out of that negative situation a situation that has been occurring a situation that you have been going through for a very long time so this is is positive for Saturday on Sunday you have the five of Pentacles in reverse this is good because the energy of the tower came and bring down the five of Pentacles so if you were having financial situations um, you are going to realize that this is going to be better because right above it you have the page of Pentacles with the Sun coming in and this is a wonderful wonderful positive energy it is a psychic week so this is good the unknown the unknown is um, the page of Pentacles so whatever is happening is the unknown of the page of Pentacles this mean it's something that is happening unknown about a situation that is occurring in your life you have people trying to um, um, 
you know block whatever you're supposed to receive and there is a judgment call okay so people are trying to block whatever you're supposed to receive and all you have to do is call upon the angels and guides and said um, please release these blockages so that my, my financial situation will flow so let's see what is going to be the judgment call and it's going to be the eight of one so the judgment call is going to be a lot of information coming into you and this is going to be extremely positive okay so nothing to worry about um, it is a week where you're trying to heal certain aspect of your financial situation um, the end of a relationship for some people is going to come in you're going to find out that your partner is moving on to someone who is um, maybe younger than you are because um, someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion is coming in your relationship and this is sort of a ruin um, for this person so it could be that you have been seeing someone and this person fell in love with you as a Taurus and their relationship is going to be in ruins because um, someone is starting on a new journey with this prince of uh, this princess and it's going to be cruelty for her so it can be that you some of you will meet someone and um, this person is going to be falling in love with you because I see happiness um, the nine of cups I see happiness and celebration so this is actually good I'm sorry but I am so happy when I'm seeing the energy of love and all of these is happening because even though there's a ruin that means that the relationship was not built on a stable ground that means that whoever this person is have known you in lifetime and lifetime before because the wheel of fortune is here so that means it's a karmic relationship whoever this person is um, the relationship that is going to happen bet between you and that person is going to be um, so wonderful but the relationship that they were in is going to be ending because I'm seeing that there is a ruin and when I ask what is the ruin with this relationship it's going to be that someone is moving on with and this um, whoever this person is that this person is with um, is going to feel it as a cruelty so for the love aspect it is a lot of you are going to be connecting and I should say to you guys it is um, the energy now it is a sexual energy it is that people are connecting with each other people are feeling the chemistry of sexuality when they're around um, and they meet people and there is um, so as a magic um, a touch an electronic um, um, charge especially you urge people or having this is as if you're healing um, people with this really sexual it's, it's, it's like a sexual revolution is coming up where um, marriages are going to go on the rock especially marriages that was not built on firm grounds are going to go on the rock because here is someone here is someone who decided to move away because they've met someone else so they are going to their relationship are going to be ruined because this whoever they have met have become and have awakened something in them and this situation is going to be um, as if you're moving uh, this person is moving away they're going to feel cruelty because you have met someone else and it is someone um, from your from a karmatic standpoint because 
what is happening is that this person is as if with a sexual resolution they meet the person of their dreams and their marriage is going to be on the rocks and this woman who is a cancer a Pisces or a scorpion is going to be having a problem but you are feeling happiness with this person and there is going to be a celebration so there is two celebration in uh, your reading so let's look and see what is um, the prominency of uh, your energy the number um, nine seems to be very positive whatever is happening is that the number nine it's the end of something it is the end of you protecting yourself against certain things not seen clearly um, clarity is going to come up because the eye princess is in this week that is bringing a lot of clarity to a lot of people um, whatever situation that you had that people stabbed you in the back and that sort of a thing is going to be happening for you um, the energy of the unknown is that there is a judgment call about um, money but not to worry because the page of Pentacles is coming in and it's going to let you know that you have no need to worry so the number nine energy seems to be playing a very significant role in this week so let me leave it there because there is so many information that is coming out right now and um, you are going to be okay it doesn't really matter what is taking place in your life um, know that your financial situation will be ill and it's going to be good okay so let's see what the good tarot have for the Tauruses for the third week of November the six of fire this is a good sign when the six of fire comes out it is a positive positive sign it is saying that good things are on the way for you so this is this is a positive whenever the six the six is always the energy of a materialistic thing so the six of fire is here for you guys and it is saying stepping into the limelight being an enlightened influence you generate the model for um, for our transformation so that others might be in spirit. you put your light atop on the ill so it can shine forward helping others to find their way you may remain aware of the shadow and the people who have trouble um, bursting in the warmth light of the eye awareness you bless them but do not dim your own beacon it is time to renew your trust that you have um, contributing to the highest good of all in your own unique way so isn't this beautiful this is beautiful this is wonderful because you are seeing that the angels and guides are pushing you forward and said be a beacon to other um, um, be the person who is going to open up and help others and as you do that um, you're going to be blessed by the universe we're also working with the angels of abundance and let's look and see what we have um, we have exercise to increase your energy and manifest a manifestation ability and it says the key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy level and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you will look forward to exercising and it becomes a reward and this is good so you can always manifest by walking and this is going to help you I want to say thank you so much for being here please remember to like share these videos listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I'm saying namaste until next week Oh,